so for many years canada has been a destination for a lot of people some have migrated to canada through jobs some have migrated to canada through <clears throat> education but all i can say is that over the years we have realized that canada has a friendly approach towards the immigrants and is actually encouraging more and more immigrants to join them and <clears throat> there are so many reasons that i would love to talk about canada but as you know people are already waiting and i know that you are very impatient so i'm going to talk about why you should choose canada at the end of the video but in the beginning let's talk about more importantly how to be there how to migrate there how to enter how to be part of those people who are already in canada okay so the first thing we want to talk about is that getting a job in canada is quite easy okay you just need the right information so basically today we are going to talk about the most overlooked thing about getting a job in canada which is your canadian cv okay so the most the mistake that we as a lot of people make is that we want to apply to canada for jobs with the same cvs that we are applying using in our own countries whereas that is a no when it comes to recruitment in canada the recruiters or uh, the companies are very strict okay they just go by their canadian standards so for example if they see your cv and uh, your cv is not in the format of a canadian cv they will just pass by it do they do not care much to you know read as much as they can about you maybe you have qualifications maybe you're like this maybe you are really a good addition or what they do not care about that okay so the first thing we want to know <coughs> i'm sorry the first thing we want to do is make sure that your canadian cv is on point okay so before you even think about moving to canada the first thing is research on how to write a canadian cv on what is required on a canadian cv you can be able to download sample canadian cvs on the internet make use of the internet i'm going to put some links in the description bo box below where you can check like some samples of the canadian cv so that you can be able to know the second thing that we want to understand here is how can we be able to where actually where do we find the jobs in canada okay where do we apply okay so the easiest you can go or the most used by many people is job bank canada okay so you can be able to go to this website and you can apply for different different jobs okay but there is another different hack that i found for you i am just gonna share with you it's a secret okay okay so here is the thing you can be able to go on google and you can write 2022 um skilled workers visa in canada with sponsorship once you're done there are links gonna apply there are links that are gonna uh, pop up you're gonna see as you go down and you'll be able to see okay so you can be able to check some of those links okay so i'm also gonna talk about glassdoor glassdoor is one of the ones that is also you know very popular you can also do on indeed okay and another one is linkedin linkedin guys i talk about linkedin all the time i do if you have not seen a video where i emphasize linkedin in your life then i think you have not started seeing my videos i talk about linkedin all the time i like talk about what is the importance of linkedin linkedin this is where a lot of jobs that are legit are posted okay this is where you get to create a community okay so it's very important for you to have a linkedin profile as long as you're looking for a job okay so linkedin also definitely applies to when you're looking for a job in canada okay so definitely go for looking uh, jobs on linkedin if you really want to make me you if you want me to make a video on how to create a linkedin profile and how to <clears throat> make it stand out please share in your comments section in the comment section so that i know if i do really do need to make a video about the linkedin how to create it how to stand out okay or i can also link to 
some great channels where you can watch about linkedin stuffs okay so we cannot possibly talk about applying to canada we cannot possibly talking about relocating to canada without actually talking about the jobs that are actually in high demand in canada so at this moment this is what we are going to do we are going to run down the top 10 jobs in high demand we are not talking about top 10 high jobs which are high in demand 2021 2020 2019 no we are not talking about that we are talking about things that are happening right now okay we are talking about high demand jobs in 2022 okay so the first one we want to talk about is it so definitely if you are in the it department click this is done it's a done deal because canada is looking for people like you okay now we want to move on to medicine and nursing so <clears throat> as you can see during the pandemic a lot of things happened so there is need for anybody or more people who are working in the health department be it a health assistant be it a you know nurse aide or something like that or a doctor or even as long as you're in the health department because with the COVID-19 we know that there is need for a lot of health personnel to be able to help with the health sector okay so definitely if you are in the health sector I would advise you to go for this chance because they are looking for you at this moment and what best time is there to migrate to another country except the time that they are actually looking for you okay so now let's talk about the third one the third one is data science okay so if you studied anything to do with the data science i very much do not know a lot of things about data science but if you studied anything to do with data science then you are also part of the people that are actually on the lookout so they are really looking for you guys so make sure you start applying do your cvs and make sure you start you know applying for jobs in canada because they are looking for people like you let's talk about one sector that people do not and people over people do not talk about and overlook every time this is the finance sector as you can see the covid 19 actually ruined a lot of things you know economies are down and people are trying to you know get back so definitely people in finance are a must in this century people of finance are a must and it's no exception when it comes to canada because people in finance are, are on the list of people who are really needed so if you have any expertise in the finance department then this is your time to shine you can get ready and start applying because canada is looking for you now we talk about sales representatives i think that's number five sales representatives as you know <clears throat> During this uh, whole COVID-19, a lot of sales went down. So definitely they're looking for new talent to, you know, understand the new market that has been set with the COVID-19 so that they can be able to, you know, resuscitate their businesses. So if you're a sales representative, this is your time to actually enter into the field or into the Canadian market. Talk about number six, which is the human resource managers. Okay, so we cannot talk about all these other people without human resource managers. The more we need to hire people, the more we need the sales people, the more we need the finance people. We need people who are looking for those people. Okay, right? So yeah, so that's where we say the human resource managers are at this point very, very much in demand. So if you have an expertise in the human resource department be sure to check out all the links that i have mentioned earlier on in the video and start applying because you people are right now on the high demand list which means that your chances of your visa pro process and everything else going smoothly are far higher than the other professions which are not currently on short at all which are not currently really needed okay so let's talk about accountants accountants is the same thing with the finance department as long as you're looking to resuscitate an economy you need people like economists you need people like accountants you need people like finance people so yeah this is where the accountants come in so if you're having a degree in accounting if you are <clears throat> you know a chartered accounting or anything to do with accounts okay so you can look it up because you guys are also Part of the people who are needed we also need project management okay so if you did anything to do with project management that's number eight you are definitely one of the people who are being looked for because there are a lot of countless projects that were left unfinished due to the fact that covid19 just you know surprised everybody so if you're a project management project management person 
then you would want to consider looking up Canada because it has opportunities for you this 2022. Now, if you're also a business development management person, it's almost the same as project management, I guess. Yeah, something to just develop the businesses because we are saying economies are trying to resuscitate their own economies, okay? So a lot of things have happened. We are trying to just br bring the economy boom back to normal. So consider yourself applying. So the 10th one is where a lot of people actually, actually qualify. This is where we say general laborers. This is where we talk about factory workers. We are also talking about... <clears throat> farm workers and the likes truck drivers and a lot of people who have vocational certificates okay or uh, people who are just don't have like educational side of this thing so if you're a general laborer if you're a farm worker if you uh, uh, want to work in the factory if the if you are a fruit picker this is where you guys apply because a lot of people lost their jobs during covid and a lot of things have been left behind and a lot of companies some closed down they were not able to do you know production to the fullest so people are trying to recover so if you are one of the general laborers this is the time and i would say a lot of people qualify on this category and this is a good thing because you know everybody gets to have a part where they actually fit in so if you're a general laborer you want to consider also applying and the last one guys is engineering if you are in the engineering department congratulations you are one of the last people who are highly highly needed in canada right now so if you qualify in any of these 10 highly in demand occupations then i want to congratulate you because you are part of the people whom canada is expecting and canada is looking for so go ahead and apply to the jobs using the links that i have given you using the websites that i have given you now we have come to the part that all of you have been waiting for this is the last part where i mentioned earlier on in the video that i'm going to talk about why canada okay so the first one i want to talk about obviously everybody is worried about the salary we know you okay everybody is worried about the salary okay so canada is one of the countries that has high paying salaries okay minimum wage i think is about ten dollars fifty so i think canada is like highly paying it as good salary packages okay and the other thing we want to talk about canada is that canada is conducive environment for workers and stuff so if you are thinking in the terms of packages of salary be rest assured canada has got you okay so let's talk about another reason why canada okay canada's immigration programs are very dynamic so this is a very good thing for everybody for our if you are looking to migrate to canada okay another reason why you should consider moving to canada is that canada is actually looking for immigrants okay so what best country to migrate to except a country that is actually looking for you okay because you're not forcing yourself into the system the system is looking for you so that's one thing that i would say is very lovely about canada okay now the other thing we want to mention is that <clears throat> skilled workers and qualified workers all have numerous opportunities in canada that's what we say when we say it's immigrant friendly okay so with this being said would you say canada is a bad place for you to actually to migrate to not forgetting the fact that anyone who holds a canadian passport can be able to travel to major major countries without even needing a visa okay when you get into canada you don't definitely just get the canadian visa canadian passport but getting into canada getting a job into canada is one step towards the right direction like i told you the own green card is gotten by a lot of different ways okay residence in a different country is gotten by a lot of different ways you start from somewhere you don't just wake up and you are already on the green card level or passport holder level so you start somewhere okay but all the same i would say canada possesses more and more good things that actually are favorable to immigrants so i would say why not go for canada since it's basically looking for immigrants okay but let us not forget that every country has its own bad side but <clears throat> whenever you look for a country to migrate make sure that the good always outweighs the bad in your direction in what you are looking for now if that does match it 
and if you find that Canada has more good than bad towards what you're looking for then this definitely video was a plus for you okay now my lovelies this is this is from me to you till we meet in the next video beautiful chaos i am out do not forget to subscribe to the channel